Unveiling the mystery of voiceless sounds in English. Hello, dear learners and language enthusiasts. Today, we are diving into the fascinating world of English pronunciation with a focus on the concept of voiceless sounds. This might sound a bit technical, but worry not, because I'm here to guide you through it step by step. Understanding this will not only help you pronounce English words correctly but also improve your listening skills. So, let's get started. When we say a sound is voiceless, we are talking about the way your vocal cords behave when you make that sound. Voiceless sounds do not use the vibration of the vocal cords. Instead, they are produced with just the breath. To feel this in action, Place your hand on your throat and say the sound of P, as in pat. Notice that there is no vibration. That's because P is a voiceless sound. In English, there are several voiceless sounds, and they are often found at the beginning of words. Some examples include the T sound as in talk, the K sound as in cat, the S sound as in sit, the F sound as in fine, the CH sound as in chat, the TH sound as in think. These are just a few examples, but they are key sounds that make a huge difference in your English pronunciation. To understand voiceless sounds better, it's helpful to compare them with their voiced counterparts. Voiced sounds do use vocal cord vibration. For instance, B is the voiced partner of P. Say bat and feel the vibration this time. Another pair to try is S in sip, voiceless, versus Z in zip, voiced. Playing with these pairs helps you get a clear sense of what voicelessness in English sounds like. Now that you know about voiceless sounds, practice is key. Start by saying words aloud and identifying whether the first sound is voiceless or voiced. Record yourself and listen back. Can you hear the difference? The more you practice, the more natural it will become. Great job on taking this step to refine your English pronunciation. Remember, becoming aware of the voiceless sounds in English is a vital part of mastering the language. Keep practicing, and soon it'll become second nature. Thank you for joining me today, and I hope this video has been enlightening. Keep learning and keep speaking. See you in the next video.